सो हे गाइज व्हाट्सअप एंड बेस्ट हेडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटेड वीडियो सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ सनराइज और सनसेट समथिंग लाइक दैट एनिमेशन यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन इजिली क्रिएट दिस टाइप्स ऑफ अमेजिंग प्लांट एंड नेचर सीन यूजिंग अ प्लग इन कॉल बोटोनिक आई विल पुट द लिंक ऑफ द प्लग इन इन साइड माई वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो काइंडली गो एंड चेक दैट आउट दिस इज एब्सोलूटली अमेजिंग आई विल यूज वन प्लांट बट देर इज अ टर्स ऑफ वेरा variety you can create grass you can create tree with animation but uh, here is a, a thing there is a no animation available for the grasses and plant but i will show you cool method what i did for this particular animation to create a wind or a plant moving animation look so without any more delay let's get started quickly the video so this is the final scene which you can see on the screen this is an uh, and this is this looks amazing in this video i will show you how you can create plant how you can create a path like your camera freely uh, travel between this larger so in this tutorial i will only show you how you can uh, create this plant and camera animation and on top of the, this i simply downloaded a character and place it on the top so so this is the final result which you can see on the screen this looks amazing so a lot of cool tricks is available in this video so don't skip watch till the end and by the way you can also uh, go and check out me on my patreon page there is a tons of features available and you can also join this youtube pro members if you want to get some extra Uh, benefits so let's get started so i'll simply create a plane and i will scale it maybe five times and this is enough for the tutorial purposes then you just need to press tab to go inside the edit mode right click and subdivide this plane few times control a to apply the scale go inside the modifier tab and then simply use a modifier called displace which will displace your plane then just click on this button called new and click here and just change the type from image or movie to cloud and just increase the size of your fractal basically this texture is displacing this plane so if i will right click and set smooth so this is the displacement which looks nice then i can go to the modifier tab and just add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth out the edges and this looks good but i want to scale it even more so i'll press s and press 5 and this will scale 5 time more control a and apply the scale and now you can see the displacement is very little and actually i want very little displacement but in your case if you want more you can just simply come over here and increase the amount or just simply increase the strength from here perfect so maybe i can press n and i have the uh, add on called botanic and you can install it by going to the preferences add on and yes and by the way it's also comes with a free version so if you want to check just go and check it the link is in my video description now you have to go inside here plus icon and just click plus and click on this new button because i am going to generate a custom particle system for the plant so i will rename it sunflower and by the way this tutorial is triple s it means sunset sunflower and spider man how cool it is right so once you done just go little down here is a one more plus icon just click here and now you have a option to choose all the variety so i am going to use the flowers actually in the flower section and there will be a sunflower right here you can see so i will choose sunflower a and hit okay and you can see we have custom number of flowers here so i'll click one more time plus and choose the this c hit okay so now i have a two types of flowers in my scene i will click one more time on this plus icon and choose this f or maybe this one which one you want Yes. I can control the numbers of particles from here. So let's suppose if I want 100 only. So now I have a 100. And here is a two numbers for controlling the amount of your particles, plant, whatever you have on your scene. So here you can see the number, and there is a one more number called uh, yeah here max particles. So make make sure to check both. So if you want 100 particles, make sure there is a 100 particles also here. Otherwise, if you have two recalculate density, if you click on this button. there will be only two particles available so make sure to put it whatever you want so i will make it 500 for now and 500 here again and let's add the camera and let's add a animation then i will show you how you can create a path so first i will create a new camera and make it to a new collection called camera and let's find out where is the camera so here is the camera 
so i'll press z z and place it here so what you can do more you can simply decide a frame so just like i want this frame this looks good to me so i can select this frame and press ctrl alt ctrl alt in number pad 0 and it will snap your camera to your current view now you can press n and go to the i go to the view and lock the camera to the view here i can go to the output properties and change the resolution to 1080 by 9020 because i'm going to make for the insta reel so that's why i can decide at this frame uncheck the camera to view and just click and drag it here press n to hide and press t to hide also so now i have a one camera view and this is the 3d viewport so now if i select the transform move tool i want to start animation here and it will go all the way almost here so let's add a keyframe so i'll press i add a location keyframe go to the very and just move it almost till here and press i and add a keyframe on the location press a to select both keyframe and press t and make it linear so now you can see it's moving but now the next step is to create a path so basically if you'll see my original example there is shorter version of sunflower in the middle area where the camera is flying and in the both side there is a higher uh, sunflower plants so this makes easy to travel your camera without intersecting uh, into the flowers that's why I, I will keep the middle flower shorter so let's select the plane again and this will be for the plants and I'll press N so I want to increase the number of particles to 5000 both in emission and also into the max particle 5000 and now I, I want to uh, do some uh, randomization to make it more natural so I will increase the scale randomization so, so now all sunflower size are not one so there are few one and uh, there are few shorter than that and here is your uh, option called face so if you will change the face the direction of the sunflower head direction will change basically you can see so basically I want to point sunflower head towards the camera but but at the same time I want some randomization so here is a one more option called random face so I will increase it little bit and then I will again change this one like this so if I will play so you can see, maybe I can just down the random face little bit but there is a one problem you can see I have particles everywhere but and the second problem is when our camera is moving it's intersecting with our plants which i don't want and it will not look good so the way you can fix this both problem so if you'll come down here is called density so density allow us to you know simply paint the area where you want to grow the plants and basically it will grow the plants only on the specific painted area and same the length works so i will press save in, and this is our camera by the way if i'll i'll select the plane and go down and this is a length so i will click on this button and now i will have to paint the area so this is the radius which will make your size little or bigger and this is strength and this is weight so simply i have to keep i think our uh, planes don't have enough segments so maybe i can right click and subdivide two times and now if i press save in and go inside this length so now i have a uh, too much room to paint clearly so if you see here so the red area has a longer version of sunflower and the green area has the smaller plants so this is the method so basically i will just draw the path till the end and one more from this side so i want to cover these areas all right so this looks good for me but if you see clearly where the camera is moving the path is good there is not higher version but at the same time here you can see there is no sunflower if i'll click here there is some preset there is some option called add subtract multiply mix so if you want to you know just subtract area just choose the subtract and if you will subtract this you can see the sunflower is removing from that area so maybe i will choose the mix or maybe lighten so i will try to mix mix not work so maybe just try to lighten version it will also not work so maybe i can choose the add but down the strength and weight so now you can see there will be particles but not the bigger one so let's play all right looks good control is to save it and just click on this button called recalculate density and go back and now i will select the plane and because if you see clearly it's like camera is shifting here so maybe i can select the plane 
and just shift it little bit and here you can see the plant is intersecting so maybe I can go again to the length this area so maybe I can just there is a blur option so I can maybe blur it maybe blur or maybe I can simply add the subtract option and this will remove the flowers all right so this is enough for the idea purpose and tutorial purpose right the more time you will spend the more good art you will able to create recalculate density and go back there is two things so first let's add go inside the shading view and if I'll, if you click here just change it to cycle and make it gpu and in the environment tab i will use a environment texture and i will use a hdri and this one i downloaded from hdri heaven or poly heaven and open the image and I will go to the shader editor and change this object to world and I will simply select the texture and press ctrl T and by the way you have to go inside the add-on and you have to enable this node regular add-on and here you can simply you know just rotate the direction so I will rotate it and because I am making a sunset scene I have to you know just down the down it a little bit but if you see clearly there is a very less uh, number of particles available so i can go to the object again i mean i can go to the 3d viewport again and select the plane and first maybe i can just down the strength to 0.8 and just increase the numbers so maybe i can make it 15000 and i can go to the rendered mode film and enable transparent and i can select the plane and because if you see I can also increase the size scale maybe to make it even more bigger like this but that will actually intersect the camera not too much but a little bit so maybe I can just so maybe I can add some grass to the ground so it will help to blend the whole scene which I uh, did to my actual result so I'll simply select the plane and click on this button and I'll use botonic and there will be grass I, I will use a basic grass grass and hit ok and then I have to select the grass I first click this viewport and render option and disable them so I can only focus on the grass options and then again maybe I can make it 5000 and 5000 here and then I will go to the density option and just paint the area so maybe I can press save and the weight and make it additive down the radius paint the area where you want to grow the grass and recalculate density go back here you can see it's so much real and looks amazing this is the beauty of botanic add-on you don't have to do anything you just have to you know just plant your tree and scatter them and the this is good to go I can maybe increase the size a little bit and now if I enable the sunflower now you can see this looks amazing I can go to the output properties and make it render region so it will only render the frame which we, we will render and this uh, give us an issue I will fix it so this looks good to me so either you can scale down the sunflower again or you can simply you know just select the camera and just find the frame where it's intersecting like over here just move the camera little bit like this way and press i and add a location keyframe so now if i'll play pretty much good even if i want i can just move it down little bit just a bit for this frame i for the location and on here and with here i can simply again add a keyframe press i uh, before just move it little bit like here and add a location you can see looks good all the animation looks good maybe i can here i location and the next thing which what you can do you can just simply add a character and place it here so in this case i downloaded a model from uh, sketchfab and i rig them using miximo and just uh, put that character here and just animate their position and this will do your job now let me show you how i added animation so first if you uh, come down here you will find the plant i can press z z so now i will select one by one 
so i will simply select this go to the modifier and here is a modifier called simple d4 and just check the bend and now let's find out the axis so in this case you can see the x axis is working very well so what i can do i can simply just add a little movement in this plant you can also add movement in y direction don't add in a g so i'll go to the x go to the very first frame and on the angle maybe 12 20 so i'll press i add a keyframe go to the 40 second and just make it minus 20 and just add i and now i can simply just simply select and copy and paste this again and again so if i will play you can see something is happening right you can see i can select this one and press shift and select this one and press ctrl l and now i can simply copy the modifier so now this has also the same modifier but i have to add the keyframe so maybe i can come here and add in a y direction so maybe 10 is good so i'll press i go to the 40 second or maybe 30 and make it minus 10 and press i and just select and just copy and paste this keyframe if i will play you can see this is animating uh, this is the way i added animation and now i will open after effect and i will show you how i composed this scene so when you are going to render make sure to render it in png or maybe uh, open exr multi-layer and export few other options if you want so i will close this and i will open after effect and i will open a project so this is the render which come from blender this looks really cool i also added some particles to make it more good i also added depths of field which is too easy to do you just have to select your camera and enable depth of field and assign a focus object so once it done what i did more so i added a pixel motion blur to add some motion blur into our scene and then i use a simple background from pixels pixels and i did some color collection and fast box blur and cc lens to animate it so if i will disable this and if i will play you can see nothing is happening but then i added cc lens so now i you can see there is some animation going on inside the cloud and with our scene it will look more good focus over here you can see this area and then i use optical flare from video copilot turn this off you can focus over here you can see if i turn this off and on and i use our rendered layer as a foreground layer so without this the result will not look too good with this option the result with optical flare looks too good do some color correction then i use a limetric color to do some color grade and then i apply a optical glow to add some glow inside my comb and in the end i simply add some wiggle expression to keep to add more movement inside our scene so it will look like our camera is moving and, and at the same time it's shooting handheld or simply there is a, a wiggle movement going on so it will look more natural maybe i think i have to down the optical glow to maybe 70 percent but yeah this is it maybe i will add some noise and grain on top of this noise maybe eight percent and this is the final result all right so i hope you really enjoy this tutorial and i hope you really uh, love the concept or basically this is inspired by someone else so on the screen you can see this guy i totally inspired from here but then i did some few extra steps to complete to do and create this beautiful artwork but yeah this is simply inspired by this guy thanks for making amazing content and i hope you learned something and if this is the case please hit the like button and if you new on the channel i will consider go and check out some more tutorials and if you think it's worth it just please subscribe it uh, if you are watching me from along and if you did not subscribe to me yet please hit the subscribe button because it will help me to you know just grow fast so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time this is it for now and i am nps 3d i am an i am an i will see you next time bye bye